Peace, peace, peace. Divine understanding, born of law. Now we do it. We set the record straight, but I'll we'll see if I can answer all these questions here. All right, now when I got knowledge of self, um, I'll give you a quick one. Uh, pretty much three day fast. Um, quote Mathematics I'll bet 120 Then I started to quote my 12 Jews um, Plus degrees was To show and prove In your head um, The whole story Behind each degree Right so you had those plus degrees From WD and Elijah They're merging some is WD that he gave to Elijah. Some is Elijah talking about after um, Farad, uh, WD Farad, after he uh, showed and proved and built with Elijah. So Elijah's building on all the different things that was taught to him. In those classes. There was a lot of other people to verify that WD taught those things in the class, right? And then we go into um, the Father's Book of Life, right? Everybody got that. Um, as many things as you can get out of from his Book of Life that the it was passed down. We do that. We had a list. We, a lot of us are still looking up that list. Um, like that. That's how I was doing it. But mostly what you... When you saying you... Those are materials that we had to read, you know. Um, we had Mr. the Black Man, I Say There's a Ride for of America, How to Eat to Live, Book 1 and Book 2, Flag of Islam. Had that. Um, had to build on Universal Sham God, um, Universal Flag. We had two, two different ones. Um, one was Sham God's build, and I don't know who the other person who wrote the other one. But that was the first one we received. We received the other one. We didn't receive the other one until later in the 80s. The one that uh, Sham God built on. And then we would go to the museums, the libraries, where they buried the lies. <laughs> and we would get proof so that we could show it to our families and friends and people who we knew that we wanted to know. We wanted them to know what we knew, but we, but they couldn't know it from 120. They needed to know it from an academia point of view, someone who isn't with the 5%, like that. So we would do that. That's why we went to Justice Equality Bookstore, and that's when we start getting into the books in the museums, because when you start going into books like J.A. Rogers and Dr. Ben, you're going to automatically need to go to museums if you're going to really follow up and then in the back they'll always have uh, the books that they used and the reference material that they used and the excavation sites and the museums and where everything is at they will tell you now in those days it was a lot easier to get access to the, to that kind of information on the physical plane now um, it's easier virtually, but it's not easier to go and do it because of, you know, everything that's happening right now, pandemic, all kind of shit's going on. It is what it is. Um, the next one, so that's pretty much how you see it, right? How I got that cease like, oh, how did you get it? All right. Now on the journey to, you could say on the journey to, on the journey to... Um, 
when you're searching and looking, um, I ran into various enlightened people and they put me on. One of the first things I was put on to was Leviticus 11. Right, Leviticus 11. And that really changed a lot of things for me when I went to Leviticus 11 because it made it easier for knowledge of self people, people who had knowledge of self and that wanted to teach and show you. It makes it easier when you already know the dietary law. See, if people are telling you knowledge of self doesn't have a dietary law, then they don't know there's no knowledge of self. And the foundation to knowledge of self is the dietary law. Because it changes the vibration, the electromagnetic pulse changes in the physical composition at a cellular level. If you understand the science behind food, Father, Cypher, Cypher, Divine, right? That's that's 30 right there, and then the other end would be 34. Comes out to be culture cipher, right? Which is the culture. The culture is I, God. The culture has to be I, God, due to the fact that the physical composition is made manifest. First thing you do, uh, think about it. On a scientific level, we want to clean out the colon, right? Isn't that what we really were doing? We could go all into why you cleaning out the colon. Cleaning out the colon, uh, cleaning out the small intestines, work your way up to clean out the colon, large intestines, small intestines, work your way up to the stomach and the esophagus and all of the apparatus that works its way eventually to the tongue, teeth and all that. At the cellular level, you're cleaning it. Right? And you stop putting toxins in the physical composition because they give you a how to eat to live volume, right? Uh, the how to eat to live volume consists of the second tape of a lot of father, right? You have how to eat to live book one and book two. That's the basic manifestation inside of the degree. You could go on into problem book if you wanted to, because it's part of that too. That's why it's talking about hypertension, diabetes, and all that. It's just giving it to you in 120 language. But it really does mean that. It says it in there. Uh, the breath, how long. How much cubic square, cubic inches of breath you take up in a room. The room is 11 feet by 22 feet squared at off. How much oxygen is in that room? How much did you use? Like that. Those kind of word problems. But the point it's making at the end of the day is changing the vibration at the cellular level. You feed the mitochondria garbage, you're going to get garbage production. You want to increase your production, make your financial pages look right and exact, pay the employees correctly. Personnel is going to hire the right people. Your personnel is letting the devil hire the people for you. So it's telling you to feed yourself garbage and call it a treat. <laughs> And you get to treat yourself a lot if you got the money to treat yourself. <laughs> because pretty much any restaurant, unless they're specifically telling you they're not GMO and Monsanto, then they're that. That's what they are. If they're not telling you they're not that, then they are that. Because all the people who say they're not that have to tell you that they're that. Because... The other people aren't obligated to tell you that they are. So, the people who are Monsanto aren't obligated to tell you that they're feeding you genetically modified food. Which goes right back to 
three-day fast, one meal a day, 16 hours separated, and you're not eating. If you use the Leviticus and Deuteronomy, you're definitely not eating what the population is eating. Not if you're going totally according to it, because you couldn't, because... All right. Say you're doing Leviticus and you say, well, I don't eat swine. Well, how are you in the pizza restaurant that sells swine, which means that you do eat it? Because you're in there eating anything in there. It's contaminated. It's already cross-contaminated. At the cellular level, your body knows you cross-contaminated it. You cross-contaminated enough, it becomes inflamed. You have inflammation. All right, so that's that one. All right, now what was the other one? Um, oh. My see you in the political world. Well, you got to look at it and say, well, Malcolm said the ballot of the bullet. And Martin used um, legislation. Um, I don't know of any group legitimately that did it on a physical plane with with weapons. And I say that to mean that even the groups that they say were Asiatic, original people, lambs, wool people, indigenous inhabitants of the planet Earth, even though a lot of times they'll say they had some kind of plot or something, kind of conspiracy to attack the government or whatever the case may be, European supremacy and shit like that. They never really were coming at them physically. They just wanted the public to believe that they were coming at them physically so they could come at them physically. That's what I'm saying when I say that. So I'm saying that if you look at President Nixon when he was the president. And you see how he stacked the lower courts with his uh, his people. He stacked it. Stacked the deck up against you. Because you weren't organized enough to know and understand that the real power of the vote is in the jury duty, because you can let everybody go. The grand jury, you can let everybody go that the police are trying to get at, because they do it. They let all the police go that do crime, right? The grand jury lets them go. The prosecuting attorney lets them go. The DA lets them go. The mayor lets it go. The borough presidents lets it go. Whichever what you have, your county mayors, people... They let it go. That's who they answer to. The the chief of police, all of that. They let that go. The brass lets it go, as they'll say in the movies, the brass. Well, the brass is letting it go. The brass are the ones hiring those racists. So once they hire them, they don't have to do anything. They already know they're going to do racist things. And if you get caught, we throw you under the bus. If you don't get caught, then you good. We ain't going to come for you. But if the system comes for you, you got Sorry, that's how they roll. It is what it is, a vicious machine. But the I mean, the brass can fix it, but the brass is down with it. So how, you have to fix the brass. So how do you fix the brass? Because there's always got to be a remedy, right, Divine? Oh, yes, there's always a remedy, right? Now, the reason why I said that is because there's, there's little divine, there's divine love, there's divine sincere, and there's divine understanding. But there's also understanding divine, but we still used to say divine. And so, all right. So now, anyway, long story short, right? Once you get to the point where you're saying, okay, I understand that. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to, you want to attack the lower system by putting your people in place 
right? It's it's a it's a tedious thing. Now, if you play it long range, if you're looking at it long range, the reason why you want to get into the lower part is because you want to get in control of the educational system. If you're going to do it, you got to get there. If you don't do the educational system, you're going to lose because that's where the children are at. And that's where you're going to build your base from there. Once you do that, now you can train them correctly with the proper education and how to man- manifest themselves on this plane of existence with their skills. You enhance all their skills that they have and show them how to navigate through. And then you could stack the deck because you could put your own lawyers and um, professors and doctors and you could put them in the key positions. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, from my point of view, from a legislative perspective, you, you stack the lower deck yourself and start working your way up. Now, you could do a lot of that right now because we already have a lot of that in place. We just aren't organized enough as a people to do it. But we're in every walk of life already. We're already in the schools. We already have the parents. We're already everywhere. You can go. You want prison reform? We're already in the prisons, whether we the prisoners or the correctional officers or the brass. We're in every part of it. We already there. So we just have to realize whose lambs wool and who isn't, and then unify as lambs wool. You don't have to uh, try to attack things to be unified as lambs wool. You're just unifying yourself. You don't love lamb's wool. That's why it can't happen yet. Once the people have knowledge of self and love lamb's wool, then they um, they don't love lamb's wool. And they don't love triple darkness on their shade of their skin. They don't like it. The system has made them hate themselves. They don't like their sun abilities there. Features that we call lamb's wool. They don't like lamb's wool and everything that goes along with lamb's wool. They don't like that originality of their self. Um, Not all of us, but the numbers are so great that they control the rest of us. And we have to help them. It's not their fault the European did that to them. Um. That's the way he moved the world. He conquered it that way. You know, you could get into the intricacies of it, but right now we're just dealing with the the question at hand, like, what is my C on that political view? So you can see how vast it is, but I know if you go at the bottom, you could do the same thing and connect those dots at the bottom. You want to, all those judges that need to be voted out and you need to vote the right ones in, but you can't vote the right ones in if you don't have any there to vote in. You need to get people in education and educate them and you push them up the ladder till they get the law and they and now you can vote them in. See what I'm saying? It's, it's easy to do. It just takes time. Of course, they got a hell of a leap on you, but you have a lot of Asiatic people, original people, the Asiatic original people. There's a lot of us, even if we do perm our hair or whatever we do into our hair, so you don't know that we all lambs wool. We lambs wool all over Earth. If all the lambs wool people on Earth right now had knowledge of stuff and said, well, we don't need no perm, we got the best shit. See? Don't you see what it, how it changes the market? How knowledge of stuff just changes the market automatically. All right, now what was the next one? The next question, I can't see it from here. Oh, okay. Well, when you say ketones and those are all different names for new diets to help people metabolically. They have clean keto, they have dirty keto, all of that. But you didn't need that because you have knowledge yourself and you have how to eat to live. 
So to me, when I see keto and I see them talking about keto now in 2000, and I'm looking at how to eat to live, and I said, oh, they're just a modified version of Elijah's how to eat to live, which is how you should eat anyway that came all the way back from ancient times 35,000 years ago. They were doing that. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. So when I look at it from that perspective, that's how I see it. I mean, I hear these people running all this keto. Yeah, but Elijah told you to do that before. One meal a day. Look at it. Keto is copying them. They not copying keto. Keto came after. Um, you have one meal a day. You got a 16-hour window. You can have up to a 23-hour window. 24-hour window. That was Elijah right off the top. They used to do 23-hour window. Eat within that hour. That open hour window to eat. And then they go right back into the fast again. Then, on top of it, the food that they did eat in that open hour window was totally right and exact. Mostly came from their farm that they were growing, which is that's how you should be doing it. If it's not your farm, you need to have your community where your people... See, that's what makes us come together as one. Everybody doesn't want to be a farmer, but the ones who do want to be a farmer would be able to feed us. Somebody, you you need to learn how to feed yourself, though, because at the end of the day, you need to... You need to understand agriculture. That's where it ends up going there. So what happens? It goes right back to, like I said, what's the beginning of knowledge of self? How to eat to live is the beginning of knowledge of self. Because the first thing they tell you is you got to do a three-day fast. And then you got to learn how to eat one meal a day. And at the end of the month, we did the three-day fast. And then we would eat one meal a day. And some and at one time we was doing seven day fasts all the time on a regular. But since we were young and we didn't know what we were doing, the father stopped us from doing that. But now that you're an adult and you understand nutrients and micronutrients and mitochondria and cell and digestion versus absorption and the use of the energy and now that you understand that, it's easier to manifest it um, even in your seeds because if you take yourself and you do a right and exact physical body manifestation like this, no grain, no starch, no soy, no dairy, right, no sugar, no animal, right? And then you say, all right, I need protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, all right? Mm, that's what you need. Now, you just need to know what fruits and vegetables give you that. And that's what you're going to go raw on that with the organicism. Um... That's easy to find. We have that all on our Facebook pages. Our, if you go to Prince Namor um, Facebook, it's there. If you go to Prince Namor Instagram, the pictures are there for the dietary laws and what you need to do in a more intricate manner. So you could pull it and modify it for yourself because it depends on what you're doing. It's not as contrary as belief, just like people have different tastes. That's why he said, eat. If you like it, eat it. If you don't like it, don't eat it. But you still stay within the law. The law is the reason. They say, oh, the law is to restrict you. That's what the European teaches you. The law is to restrict you. The dietary law, the people with knowledge of self is to restrict you. No, it's not. It's so your mitochondria is not slowed down. The efficiency is it's at one hundred percent efficiency. These these if you eat this way, you have one hundred percent efficiency at the mitochondria level. Which means everything else is gonna be right and exact too. At the level of the microbiome and the and the flora in your physical body, it's gonna be. It's not. You're not gonna lose your pinky toe. That the girl said, I still got my pinky toenail on my feet. 
and something else she said and something else and I was like right she doesn't have the the the, the bad bacteria hasn't taken over the good bacteria but it all starts on that particular realm is is at the gut level but it's really at the level of what you put in your mouth. Are you, are you, if you're taking the devil off your planet in the three-day fast, you took some of him off, but not enough. He's not out of your physical composition yet. That's to start you off, to let you know you need to do one of those every month. Three-day fast. Now, the reason why it works if you're doing it that way is because you're already only putting right and exact things in. So your body is automatically detoxing gradually. Everything is leaving. You're not just detoxing on the physical plane, but on the mental, social, economical. You're detoxing on every plane that it is once you're doing the knowledge yourself and rules. But... You got people that are resistant to it. They'll have some knowledge of stuff, but they still want to eat like the devil because they don't want to let go of that vibration. They don't want to let go of the slower vibrations. You can have control of your electromagnetic, but not in this generation. You need to eat right and exact and then let that sperm and that egg be totally right and exact and then let that baby get let that baby be attach itself to the uterus wall. See so that changes everything. And they tell you no your DNA is set. Lies. If it was set then why they unset it? If it was already set they couldn't have unset it. They unset it with the fucked up food. Tell me it's not possible to change the DNA. They changed your DNA. This shit is all fucked up. You ain't supposed to be dying at that quick age and you, you get angry so quick and you're ready to go from zero to 100 in man, no time. And what? You don't think that's a change? Because you don't know your ancestors. You only know People they told you about since the last 15, 55. You don't know about them. You don't know about what you... Can't you see the pyramids? Why do you think your ancestors left things like that that they can't build now? That comes from you. That's your people did that. It ain't no people in space built no structures like that and put your face on it. They built it in... They from space. They built it. Unless... They, well, you know, they could be from space and look just like you too. Now, that's another one. You know, because you know how they only got those four when they go in space, right? Man? Oh, my God. You know, we can just keep going on and on with the two grays. The tall grays, the little grays. Got the big bug eyes. Look like they something like a praying mantis face. Then you got the blue people that's really European, but they look blue. And they got a bald head. They got them kind. They got the other one that's real pale, like... You know what it remind me of in the Marvel comics, the Cree. They got the blue Cree and the pink Cree. Well, they they got that. Because they say, oh, they're Apollonian, tall and blonde. and Slip that racism in everywhere they go. They can't help it. Gee, they, like the lady said, oh, they stay colonizing. So, I mean, I know you might, they might get mad when you call them on it like that. And even the ones who ain't doing it, they kind of feel a certain kind of way because... They know they people was doing that. They kind of didn't know it, but they knew it. And then you bring it out. And now they see it. And now it make them feel a certain kind of way. Because they know they was in on it too in a kind of a way without consciously being in on it. So it is what it is. Um, We're not dealing with no hate or nothing. It's just the actual fact. It's the truth. That's what went down and that's what's going down. And it's happening right now in front of us. We can see it. Don't tell me they not going all out to make sure you don't know or have knowledge yourself. If they wasn't, then then there was no purpose in killing Malcolm and Martin and all those people like that. Yeah, I thought so. Nothing to answer that one. So, we're going to take it into uh, understanding the cipher. We can also go from knowledge of born and from born back to knowledge. And take it everywhere. And, um, but I want you to read a couple of, you know me, I love telling y'all. Get J.A. Rogers books. 
all of his books. You get all his books. See, back in the days, we really didn't have a lot of people. We had Jay Rogers for our academia, people who weren't inside of 120. And they weren't inside of knowledge of self. Outside of, well, you saying on Leviticus, that's more of a guide for you. There's a lot of things you can use out of King James Version that our people will accept to a certain degree because that's where they are at. Our people in the wilderness of North America are kind of stuck right there. They're there. That's where they're at. Can you, if this is the truth, you should be able to find it right there where they're at. It's there. You just have to show it to them. It's the truth of false who strangely mixed because... You're talking ancient people talk this way, and they had it in the way we got our lessons, and now they done turned it into a book, and now mixed, diluted, and tampered with it, changed the language, and this, that, and the third, and made you have it, and now you got it, okay. But, now the self can look right through all of that. You see, Elijah used to hold classes with it, Bible and Quran. Both of them been diluted, mixed, and tampered with. Well, how could they not be? They're in English. They, the Quran is closer to what it was written in than any of the other books I've seen, unless you're going over into India and all that and going into the Sanskrit and all of those books. But most of us are Abrahamic in the wilderness of North America. So we either going to go Hebrew, Islam, and all its different levels of Islam, the Hebrews and all their different levels of Islam, of Hebrew, or they're going to be in the different levels of Christian. In all their different levels of Christian. Which three? That's one of them three they're going to be in. And they're so arrogant with it. They only believe that those are the real three. And, and out of those three, each one of them think they're the real one. And that the other ones need to... See how it gets so intricate? Now, from the outside in, that's what people are looking at. If I'm from space and I'm looking at y'all, I'm saying... Hmm... That's what they're doing. Because think about it. If we in the wilderness of North America, we dealing with Abrahamic religions. Culture, creed, whatever level you want to take it on. Way of life. <coughs> Some people act like it's a nationality. I don't know. You know. Take it to the blood. If you take it to the blood, we'll figure out everything. The blood will tell on everybody. The DNA won't won't just tell on you, it'll show you. So you can see it in the blood. It's easy to look at the blood. The blood will tell. But anyway, getting beside that, the amalgamation process tells. That's why I keep saying look at J. Rogers, Sex and Races, Volume 1, 2, and 3, because there's the amalgamation process, which kills that Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid world. That kills that story done after that. Um... That kills that whole, just throw that whole thing out. So if you throw that all out, you got to throw Darwin and all his boys out. Because that shit's garbage too. That's still based off that racist shit. Um, because it leaves out the equation. Uh, you're only here by yourself. Hell, you might as well go with the flat world people. They are not. Uh, oh, see, I had to make a whole degree on that one. Because I did so much research on it, but the short version of the flat world people is that the foundation of the flat world people is a European again. It's another European ideology that's pretty much European, flat world, Christian. They all Christians, not all Christians ain't flat world, but all the flat world people are the foundation. Their rulers, their founders are all pretty much in the Christian ideology, Bible, King James, England, they English, they from England. Um, it's a European founded organization. That's what it is. Like NASA, I'm not saying NASA's always right and exact. It's still European founded. It still got to be full truth and falsehood, strangely mixed. How they national security and all that ain't nothing but the truth and falsehood, strangely mixed. Are you kidding me? Did you not know that? If you see the second degree in the one to ten, it'll tell you the secret. You just then you don't bear witness to it. You think it's not lie. You think wisdom builder the story degree is a story that ain't real. Way well, better go to guy and listen, look and read between the lines when they talk, and you'll hear them talking about genetically modified humans. 
that they teach it. They, they know. D, G, y'all don't know. Our people don't know what the fuck went on. They don't know nothing about 50,000 years ago, land war. They don't know none of that. And some of them, they think it's a fable. They think General Monk Monk didn't really go down. It went down. That's right. That means Andromeda is not a goddamn star. It's a galaxy. Wake up. So, anyway. Does that answer those questions? I hope. But you know we could go into it and into it because you can see I cut each one of them off so that I could um, go to the next question. There's, there's a whole slew of questions right here. Uh, I can't answer them all right in this time frame. I just don't have the time for the, for, per show. Um, anyway, I'm put this up now and I'm out. Peace. Peace. Divine understanding, born of law, set the record straight. Ancient Order Free Asiatics. So the man seven publications, and you know Ancient Order Free Asiatics production. She used to say, um, Ancient Order Free Asiatics production. All right. So, yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, who's, who's it? What did it say? Who are the five percent of this poor part of the planet Earth? Now, everybody should be quoting that degree in their head, right? We don't have to quote the degree on. That's why I be saying the wisdom builds destroy degree, the 88th degree and 120, or wisdom builds destroy degree and 140. What would y'all quote first? Rules and regulations, including going laws and force on manufacturing the devil. But I'm not going to quote the whole degree for you. If you want to quote the whole degree, you get with your enlightenment, y'all sit there and quote the degree. You go through it, you tell me when you go from there and you read the 600 year process, you don't see that now? You don't see that going on now? Monsanto, Bear, GMO, the grain, the fucking hypertension, it leads you right back to high diabetes, hypertension, inflammation, mucus. You full of it, full of mucus. Your, your, um, your mitochondria uh, aren't running at peak performance. Your cells are, can't take a bath. They can't release the heavy metals. This is what I'm talking about. You can't, you gotta get the devil off your planet. That's my word is bond. Peace.